Good morning YouTube. So um, the sun's back. We've had rain for oh, weeks now and not been able to get any jobs done at all. So today the sun's out and I've got a little job to do on this car behind me. Um, now you'll remember I took the bumper off this when the wife hit a deer some time ago. Uh, link somewhere up here to, if you want to watch that. Um, so what I've got to do now, um, with a well, something I promised to do when I actually repaired the bumper, was change the grill. And now, let me just fetch it. I have managed to get myself, and these are like rocking horse do, another grill. So today, basically, all I've got to do is take the whole bumper off again. Um, I want to just do some paint correction because I wasn't happy with the finish last time. Uh, put the new grill on and put it all back together again. Uh, so that is the job today. Um, just a five minute job in YouTube land anyway, but certainly not for me. One thing I do want to mention before I carry on with this video. Um, anybody that's been on YouTube a while now will know it's changing a lot. There's nothing but ads on at the moment. and It's, it's getting a bit disheartening to be honest with you. But I want to also notice um, we have a new analytics suite and it tells you basically um, who's viewing your videos, their age, where they're from. Uh, it tells you everything. But what I've noticed is only 4% of the people that watch my videos subscribe to them. Um, why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my content's that crap, people don't want to subscribe to it. But if you like what I do and you want to see stuff in the future, hit the subscribe. Okay, Just hit it. Hit the bell as well. It tells you when I'm doing new videos, uh, gives you notifications and stuff like that. Uh, makes me feel a bit better because, to be honest, it takes a lot of time putting videos together. And sometimes you kind of think... Phew, What's the point? So, yeah, just tell me, let me know, you know, in the comments, hit the subscribe, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. YouTube is good for keyboard warriors, so I'm sure you'll let me know all your wonderful comments, uh, and I will answer them. But hit that bell, hit that subscribe, please, do it for me. Uh, it lets me know that you're actually watching these videos, and what I'm doing is something that's useful. Anyway, let's go away from that, let's get on with some content. So. First thing, uh, bumper off, um, like I say, grill out, a little bit of paint correction, uh, especially on this side because it went a bit boo last time. Again, another video was put up about that. Uh, for some reason, uh, when the water got on it, it just, I don't know, it just went crazy. It was absolutely ridiculous. So, it's basically time to get it looking how it should do. Uh, like I say, the repair on the grill was pretty good at first, but... As you can see there, it ain't pretty. Um, and I know it's only really cosmetic, but eh, if you've got a car, look after it. It'll look after you. Right, tool time. So, first job is to get one, two, three those out there and uh, that will loosen the top bit but uh, there's a few more to go at before we actually get the bumper off but let's get those out and I'll take you through where the other ones are by the way if you're looking for stuff to do on an Audi and you want the tools to do it you wouldn't go far wrong with one of these this has done me so proud over the years yeah, it's just a screwdriver handle and some attachments but basically it's got all those in there and to be honest with an Audi that'll do most of the things you need to do so these first ones are T80s and like I say with my trusty tool fits in there bang just like that now I know from last time this one was a bit tricky so this one may take a little bit of manipulating I did do some work on it the last time to try and make it because basically the nut in the bottom was, was turning around. But I think, yeah, we cracked it. So, yeah, basically, these three out. We have your T80. And that's the first step. So the next step involves jacking the car up. So we've got the jack out. Make sure you've obviously got your chocks under the back wheel. Got one in uh, each side. So we need to jack the car up to get to the bottom of the bump. Oh 
there you go, we're all jacked up. As I've mentioned before, I use axle stands, but I only use them uh, as a backup system. Uh, I don't rely on the car sitting on them, but what I do is put them there, so if the car or the jacks start to, uh, to lose their pressure and the car starts to come down, it will sit on the axle stands and not on me, because nobody wants that, let's be honest. Right, if I turn you upside down, there you go. We now have some screws for the bumper. Uh, we've got one there, right in the middle, one there, we've got one that holds the wheel arch liner on there, and the same on the other side. So we'll get those off, and that'll be another step towards getting the bumper off. Bear with me. And as the last time, my trusty screwdriver thing comes in. Uh, this time we're, what, a T25, that's what we're using. That gets up and gets into Oop, there you go, those bolts there. Right, two hands required. Okay, so we've got five in total there. Uh, the ones to watch out for are the ones that hold the liner in just there. Okay, there you go, they're the ones. So one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And, uh, oh, we seem to have a poor man's Ferrari turn up. Strangely enough, he's being quiet for a change. Hello! No noise! <laughs> no noisy revving? No? no? Oh. <laughs> okay, the next ones to get at are in there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, you've got two brackets basically behind here. Uh, so you've got a couple of screws in there, uh, probably best to take that one out as well. And you can, no, oh, there's one there as well. Look. You can peel this back and you can get into the bracket. Uh, there's a 10 mil hidden right down inside there. And there's a couple of torques that clamp a, a bracket to a stay on the side of the bumper. Um, so let me get this cover off and get better access. And uh, then we'll see what's going on. Um, obviously, with the car jacked up, he should, yeah, that Superman should be able to turn the wheels quite easily. Let's give it a foot. Foot's always help. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so let's get inside there and have a look. So I've got the plastic peel back. I'm not sure how much you can see, but oops, crack. In there, right at the back. Get a torch on there. Yeah, that's pretty useless. There is a 10 mil that needs to come out, and then underneath is oh it's, it's not easy but there you go underneath there there's also a couple of i think they're t25s as well um obviously these in here are t25s audi tends to keep things fairly standard so um next job is try to get those loose uh, again two hands needed bear with me right the 10 mils out and obviously the two t25s that hold that plastic bracket are taken out as well so in theory if i give it a little pull there you go just like that it pops off uh, you can see now obviously that bit there goes into a plastic clip there and the bolts hold it there and there and obviously that 10 mil is just inside there uh, so obviously that's a bit of the bracket uh, a bit of the bumper off rather um, let's go around and do the other side and in theory it should come off and that's that side ones out so a little tug off it goes and now we go around the front and I find out which one I've forgotten about because let's face it there's always one here it comes Ooh. looking good so far obviously you're going to have your fog lights connected still if you have fog lights but I think I can drop it and take those off afterwards Pretty much just gently lever it out, and there you go. <laughs> Bang! One bumper off. Right, let's let's get those wires off the fog lights and everything before I do some damage. And uh, next part. And there you go. One removed bumper. That's basically what's behind it. Uh, so obviously, yeah, a couple of fog lights uh, to disconnect when you've done that. Um, basically, just uh, yeah, push that clip in, and they'll release. Um, 
this is yeah <laughs> it needs taping on put it that way or well, zip ties yeah we love zip ties but now um, obviously got to take the grill off which involves getting behind there removing a few screws uh, you can see where I did the repair there before it's holding up quite well and uh, then do a little bit of spraying and get the new grill in place easy yeah definitely a zip tie moment Okay, so the bumper is off uh, in the garage. So like I say, I've got a new grill to put on it. Um, it's just a few screws down there. Um, as you can see, um, that's pretty much where the deer hit before. Um, I repaired it for the time being with always the intention of getting a new grill. Uh, and now I've got one. Um, like I said, the bumper got, uh, got a little bit damaged, uh, but that all fiberglass up quite nicely and looks pretty good on the outside. It's all good and strong, nothing wrong with it. Um, but the grill is an integral part of the bumper, gives it the rigidity. So uh, let's get it changed, those screws out. And um, like I say, I'm going to do a little bit of paint correction. Probably won't capture that on camera because it's going to be really boring. And um, then get the new grill in, get it back on the car again and um, enjoy some of the weekend. There you go, screws all out. So you can follow them down. You're pretty much uh, self-explanatory. Three along the bottom there, uh, three on each side. And then when you got those off, um, it is just a case of unclipping it. Uh, again, it's not going to sound good and it's going to make you feel a bit, ooh, am I doing the right thing? But it doesn't clip. Uh, and like I say, two hands and there you go, it's off. Like I say, go relatively easy at it. You've got some clips like this that you've got to just fettle out. And uh, you will find some of the chrome bits as well get stuck, so you've got to just release those that get stuck on here. But uh, yeah, like I say, relatively, it's not too bad. So the paint is now keyed up, uh, rubbed down, all the imperfections taken out. So uh, clean it off, tack it off, get some grey primer on there. Get in there. Okay, so getting there, got the primer on, got it all sorted out, so uh, yeah, looking better, definitely looking better. Not going to video a lot of this because it's really boring, but um, yeah, happy with it. So, the bumper is sprayed, there you go, I've got the colour on, got about three coats of lacquer on there as well. Uh, looking nice and shiny, pretty good. Uh, also give the grill a little bit of a clean up as well, uh, so that's there waiting to go on. So obviously when the paint dries, then uh, I will get the grill back in again, get it back on the car and get the car functioning again. Uh, we don't need it today, in fact, you know, if we want to go anywhere, we've got a choice of three cars, so it doesn't matter too much. But uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good, pretty impressed with that. So, um, catch you in a minute, YouTube time anyway, when the grill's back in and um, it's back on the car again. Almost there, internet, almost there. And there you go folks, all back in one piece again. And looking pretty good. Yeah, new grill definitely looks a lot better than the old cracked damaged one. And it's actually looking like a, a good quality car again. Uh, just obviously need to slightly flat it back and polish it uh, to get the imperfections out. But uh, for a rattle can, it didn't go too bad at all. So, I managed to dodge the rain. Some blue skies out there. And I've still got some of my Saturday left, so this is what I do on my Saturday. Whatever you're doing, I hope you enjoy it. And again, don't forget before you go, subscribe, hit that bell. If you like what I do, there's plenty more videos like this. I've done loads of videos on this car, loads of videos on the S3 over there. So if you like what I do and you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell. You won't go far wrong. Cheers all. Bye-bye.